What is up, it's your boy Johnny Shreve, AKA Mr. Tell Like It Is. Have you seen Greg's video? The real reason why Nick Walker is out of the Olympia? <laughs> I can't compete. So Nick Walker is out of this year's Mr. Olympia for the second year in a row. And this time he's out because of his physique. We're gonna go over this video, give you guys my opinion, but also give you guys some tools to make sure that you don't miss your Miss Olympia. And your Miss Olympia could be a wedding, a reunion, your birthday, putting on a new dress, a new suit, a new whatever it is, just making a goal, that is your Olympia. Everybody who has watched this video, you don't have to be a Mr. Olympia to get into shape. But a lot of you guys out there, that might fall short to your fitness goals because of similar things that even the Mr. Olympias are having problems with. Coach Greg, and it's Saturday morning, and I'm pissed. Nick Walker makes a video, and it's not even him doing the video. It's his coach. And in the video, he states, I'm out of the Olympia. Now, remember, this is the guy that last year, he was so devastated that he couldn't compete in the Olympia because he had injured his hamstring. Yeah, I saw this video, um, the one that they put out, Nick and uh, Matt put out. Matt is actually my past coach. Last year, Nick was out because of a hamstring pull. Sucks. Absolutely sucks. This year is out because of... <sighs> I've already watched this. I already know the reason why he's not at the Olympia. And I'll tell you right now, this kind of stuff annoys me. So let's jump forward a little ahead and just go into this video. We made a decision this week for Nick to be not competing in this year's Olympia. Um, it was a hard decision. Obviously, this has been a very hard few weeks for us. And so I 100% was expecting that Nick Walker had sustained an injury. I didn't at all. I didn't. When I first saw this coming out, I'm like, oh, it's because he's not in shape. I, I literally, I was like, he's not in shape. I, this, this happens all of the time. This is not like a surprise or, you know, a once in a while thing. A lot of competitors at this time, you're seeing people pull out left and right. Some guys can't go because of the visa. Some people can't go because he got some legal issues. Some people can't go because actual health problems or family. And then the rest of them that are like kind of like grayer is because their body's not responding, right? Their body isn't responding anymore, right? There's some reason they just can't lose any more fat. They're not looking as good as they were weeks ago. Some reason that last little bit, they just can't get that shreddy. And I gotta agree with Greg, it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Now, if you have health problems, 100%, if you're having health problems, in dire health problems, okay, let me give you guys some experience that I have. Three years ago, I was competing for, I was about to leave for the Tampa Pro 212. I was skin peeled, inside out, I'm talking deck skin, top to bottom. Literally, you could see through me. If I'm black, you could definitely see through me still. I was transparent, unbelievable. Caught myself a stomach virus. The day I'm leaving to go to the show, I literally collapse wake up puking and diarrhea. The worst stomach virus I ever had. And because I was so gosh darn peeled, my body couldn't fight it off. I just had to go through the process, let my body just get rid of the virus. And unfortunately, it sidelined me. Unfortunately, I spent the whole week in the hospital, in and out. The last time I went back, I, was, I literally had like about two, three IVs pumped in me in, in less than like two hours. It was ridiculous, but trying to still make it there. So when I watch this video and I'm looking at, you know, it is Thursday afternoon, October 3rd. And why am I watching a Thursday afternoon at 3 p.m. video at 9 a.m. on my freaking Saturday morning? I've been wrestling with this for a couple of weeks. They've been talking about this for a couple of weeks, yet Nick Walker has been saying, I'm going to win the Olympia. It's been since a couple of weeks. If Nick Walker, who could potentially be winning around $450,000 on the weekend, anything between a hundred to $450,000 on the weekend, will pull out because they don't feel like they're in shape. If he can't make it there with a six figure prize, what are you guys gonna do? Like, how are you gonna stay on track? Well, here's a way that you can make sure you reach your goals. Number one, plan to prepare. It's just is. It's a simple solution, but the process might be hard to some people because it takes time and effort to get to your goals. You can't just like, oh, I'm gonna prep some meals and that's it, and all of a sudden you end up lean. There's the prepping part, the preparation, there's the mindset, there's the consistency that has to happen on a day-to-day -day basis, day in, day out, for you to get to your goals. The commitment part, the commitment process for a lot of people is freaking hard. And if you start quitting, you're gonna end up learning how to quit. It becomes a habit. You're a habitual quitter, which you don't wanna do. 
We gotta have a strategy. Okay, listen, here I got I got 16 weeks, 12 weeks, I got a year to lose X amount of weight. What do I gotta do first? I gotta make sure that I have a proper amount of meals, calories, etc. It seems hard. What do I do? Hire a coach if you have to. Hire me. Full transparency. If you're having trouble reaching your goals and you're quitting all the time and you're stuck or you've made it to where you're at right now and you're doing a great job and you're like, I don't know what to do next. I've lost the weight. You know, I lost the weight. I built some muscle, but I don't know what the next step is. And there's so much information online. I don't know where to go. I get that all the time. Hire me because I will help you do all the things I'm about to say because this is what I do with my clients. Second, set realistic specific goals. Like realistic. Nick Walker's goal is I'm gonna make it to the Olympia. That's a realistic goal for him because he's already been there. What's your realistic goal? I wanna lose 10 pounds. I wanna lose 15 pounds. I wanna lose 20 pounds. I wanna lose 100 pounds. Okay, that sounds like, that sounds realistic, but what kind of time frame is that in? Are you making realistic goals with a realistic time frame? Cause that's one thing that really screws everybody up. I wanna lose 100 pounds. When? Two months. What? Not happening. Not gonna happen at all. 20 pounds in two months is far-fetched. You could probably do it, but it's not gonna be healthy. So you wanna make sure you're making specific goals that are realistic. Track progress. Tracking progress is one of the biggest things that people don't do. One, not tracking progress does a massive thing. You have no clue where you're going. You don't know if you're actually gaining or losing. You don't know, right? And for the most part, if you're looking at yourself in the mirror all the time in terms of like checking in, if you're seeing yourself, and this happens all the time with my athletes, it'll be like around six months into our into our journey and they're starting to not see progress as much. And then that's why they hire me because I'm a good eye for them. I have an unjudgmental eye. I am looking at you the way that I see you, not the way you see you because we all don't see ourselves the way people see us. So every once in a while I'm like, hey, check it out. We share the screen, we're on a video call, and I go through their check-in pictures. I go through the check-in pictures and I go through our progress graph. And all we see is the progress graph is doing this, body fats and body weight and body fat is going down. And then I scroll back six months and show them the first picture and they're like, oh wow. The more, the more progress, the more metrics you have, the easier it is to stay on track and not be discouraged. You gotta know where you're going. Are my clothes feeling different? Am I actually getting, what, did I get an inch on my arm, on my thighs? Is my waist getting smaller? Are my thighs getting bigger? My clothes starting to feel a little different. Those are all good signs. But if we don't track progress, we're not gonna know where we're going and then we get discouraged and all of a sudden, guess what? What's the point of doing this if I can't make any progress and you quit and you pull a Nick Walker? Four, find balance, not perfection. Balance, not perfection. Here's the thing when it comes to like bodybuilding. This is something I can tell you, I can, I can contest you. We're all chasing perfection. As bodybuilders, we chase perfection. None of us are gonna get there. None of us will. But our pursuit to being perfect is what gets us to that high level of competition. But we're just trying to find, we're trying to reach perfection. And in that pursuit, we don't get to perfect, but we get to the best version of us. One of the biggest things that helped me in my, in my last years of competing was just understand that I'm not gonna be perfect. But what I can do is strive to be perfect every day when it comes to my training and my nutrition. And then making sure that I have a good balance of that. Because guess what? If I'm always sitting there like, I wanna be perfect, I gotta be, I gotta make sure that I'm perfect here. But then I'm neglecting my family or my social life or all the things that keep me sane or human or keep my mental health in check. It doesn't matter what I do over here. If this part, the balance thing isn't there, it all just crumbles. It all crumbles. Find your balance and don't chase perfection. Do the best you can at what you're doing. Your effort is what's gonna bring you closer and closer to your goals. Effort. And lastly, stay accountable. Now, I'm not just saying to yourself because like we can we can, st we can, stay accountable to ourselves just like Nick Walker stayed accountable to, to himself. The real reason why they don't make the Olympia if it's not an actual health problem, I'm talking something's wrong with the kidneys, something's wrong with the liver, something's wrong with their heart. I'm talking like legitimate, don't you go on stage or put another thing into your body, it will be the detriment of your life. That's the case, get your ass off stage, get your ass healthy. But if you're not in shape, it's because you did not stay accountable to yourself and you don't have people in your circle keeping you accountable, period. Some, some coaches out there, and this is not a mat, but there are some coaches, especially at the amateur level, who are just too scared to tell their clients to smarten up. There's too many coaches out there that are too nice. They wanna say, you're not in shape. Get your ass in shape. Stop cheating. Keep them accountable. 
call them out. You have to. If you care about your client, if you care about their success, you're gonna call them out. You know why? Because for me, my clients, my athletes are an extension of who I am. It trickles downhill. So if my client goes on stage and they're not in shape, that's on me. That is on me. Why? Because if they're not in shape, it's because I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them, hey man, you're falling off. Or I'm not paying attention or I'm just letting it happen. I'm just too nice. You know what? You can have a cheat meal this weekend. You're feeling bad. Let's have a cheat meal. No, no, no. You're not in shape. You earn your cheat meal. You don't get cheat meals just to make you feel better. So you gotta stay accountable. Stay accountable to yourself and have a surrounding of people who are going to keep you accountable. Listen guys, your friends and family, the great people. They're gonna tell you everything you want to hear. They're gonna be your cheerleaders all day long. They're gonna say, you look, you look fine, baby. And to them, you probably do because anything that they've seen that you're achieving is something they never achieved before. So they're gonna look at you and be like, oh man, you look great. You look great five pounds ago. You, you look great with when you lost five pounds. You look even better when you lost 10 pounds. If you gain that 10 pounds back on, you still look great. So as much as your family and friends are awesome and they're great and supportive and you wanna keep those people around, you need people who are gonna tell you the truth. You need people who are gonna tell you and call your ass out. You're not in shape. That's what it comes to, and oh, it's just how people are on stage. Your goals is to get into that bikini, into that dress, into, the, into that suit, into that, that reunion, into that party, or whatever it is, or you just wanna look good. One of the biggest things is telling somebody that you know that is going to hold you accountable. Because when you have something like that in your life, it keeps you more accountable. Why do you think people hire people like me? Most times it's like, I need accountability. I know that I can reach my goals, but I just need to make sure somebody's there to tell me, hey man, smarten up, let's stay on track. I went, I every time I competed, every single time I competed, there was not an ounce in me that had the, there was not a cent, there wasn't a, I don't know what, I don't even know what quitting is. Ain't no quitting me. There's no quit, period. If I set a goal for myself, I gotta reach that goal because I set it for myself. If I can't stay committed to the goals that I'm setting for myself, I'm never gonna be able to commit to any goal, period. And you wanna create a habit of being a quitter on yourself. There is a goal I set for myself, I'm reaching that goal. And I tell myself, I'm a man of my word. I'm going to reach that goal. I'm gonna have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm gonna have a million subscribers on YouTube. I'm gonna be one of the best online coaches and in-person coaches. I say those things out loud so I make sure I manifest them and then I carry out the action. Make sure we have a plan. Make sure we have realistic goals. Make sure we're tracking our progress. Make sure we have a balanced life and we're not chasing perfection because we're never going to be perfect. Make sure your circle keeps you accountable and make sure you stay accountable to yourself. No one in this world is gonna save you but yourself and no one's gonna reach your goals for you but yourself. So no matter if you get a coach like myself or you do it on your own, you have to follow through with what you plan to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, you know how it is. Iron Chairman's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.